Hi there, Chase from Hilo here to give you a quick overview of the event start date field and what it does. The event start date field is fantastic for events. Like let's say you're scheduling a webinar and you wanna send out messaging before a certain amount of time to let people know, hey, the webinar is gonna begin in one hour, let's say. So in a workflow, we wanna go over to settings and then scroll down to the event start date field. And if you click into that, we can then pick a date and a time. So let's say we're gonna have a webinar on October 8th at 12, let's say, p.m. Now we can do a couple of things. So let's hop over to actions. And we're not gonna get into the triggers because you can trigger this however you want. Somebody fills out a form, a tag gets applied, whatever you want it to be to bring somebody in. But you could now say, let's say send out an email that says thanks for registering. So the first thing that you could do is fill this in. So this would be like your agency name and then you know contact at youragency.com and then the subject is thanks for registering for our webinar. And then down here you could say thanks for registering, blah, blah, blah. We're, here's the, you know, the Zoom link we're gonna use and all of that. So your content would go here and you would hit save. And so we should have named this like registration email so we know what that is. And that's gonna go out right away. And maybe you wanna add a text message there as well. But what's important is that we can now do this. We can hit plus and add a wait step. And we can choose time but we want it to be an appointment or event time. So we're gonna select this option. And now we can say before, and let's say we wanted this to be one, uh, let's do days, so one day before. So what is this saying? It's saying that we're gonna wait until one day before webinar. So when somebody hits this step, it's going, it's going to hold them there until one day before the time that we have set here. So we've got October 8th at noon, so it's going to let them through that wait step on the 7th at noon. And so then we could add our email. I'm just going to do an SMS so I don't have to fill out all those fields that says something like, don't forget our webinar is tomorrow at noon and then whatever else you would want to say right but the point is this is an sms that's going out one day before and then we could send you know whatever you want another email a voicemail etc and then you could do the same thing maybe you're going to add another wait step and it's going to go out before one hour of the webinar so wait until one hour before webinar and then add the email or the sms that says hey the webinar is starting one hour and then you probably want to wait until like five minutes before and then send out that message that, hey we're about to get started so that's the great part about the event start date um, webinars are a great example of when you want to use that so that you can send timing leading up to the event